أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نوية الأربعين نوية الاعتكاف نوية الخلوة نوية العجز نوية الرياضة نوية السلوك لله تعالى العظيم في هذا المجد Every action has to be balanced. If it is not balanced, then we are going to face problems. Don't try to acquire something with your desires. Because desires are going to trick you. Acquire what you want to acquire through zuhud, through asceticism. Be an ascetic. You will win. Don't be someone who likes to fulfill the desires of his ego. You will lose. It's not the same one who eats and drink and he cry is like someone who eats and drink and he laugh. The one who cry for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will be saved. The one who laugh for shaitan, he will not he will be punished. Try to surrender to your Lord and not to surrender to your ego. Try to eat from the hand of the doctor or the hand of the guide because he knows what the origin of that food he is giving to you. Don't try to eat from the de- hand of your desires because it do- doesn't know what is the origin of food that desire is taking you to. How much your heart are becoming hard keep your heart soft don't keep your heart hard the trust that Allah has honored you with don't lose it Allah said we have (coughs) inna aradna al-amanata ala samawati wal-ard wal-jibal فأشفقنا منها وأبينا أن يحملها وحملها الإنسان. We have given the trust to heavens and earth, and we told them to carry it. They said, Oh Allah, we cannot. It's heavy. But a human being took that trust and said, I can carry it. He was an oppressor to himself, and he was ignorant. If he would have said like heavens and earth, he would not have responsibility. But now, since he accepted it, he has a huge responsibility toward his Lord. He has to keep it. He has to carry it. Wherever he goes, he will carry it. If he is on the sea, sailing in a boat he has to carry it if he is in a desert riding a horse he, he, he has to carry it if he is in a city and driving a car wherever he goes he has to carry that responsibility that trust and that trust is not something that easy means that trust is something that is obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in whatever whatever you know it is good or bad what is good you follow what is bad you leave don't try to blind your eyes don't try to close your eyes close your eyes from your desires open your eyes for the trust that Allah trusted you with his favors or else you will be blind that black water or blue water as they call it will come into your eyes 
and you become blind then you cannot see anything you will be handcuffed and then you will be chained and Allah will close his door and throw you out oh human being Allah did open his door for everyone but come with love to him don't come with desires bad desires don't come with forbiddens don't sit on the on the tables of forbiddens to eat from it <coughs> sit on the table of good things to eat from it sit on the table that he sent to you as he sent to Jesus Sayyidina Isa alayhi salam when he, his student asked for a table from heaven to eat from it and to have a peacefulness in their heart and Sayyidina Isa asked Ya Rabbi send us that table Allah sent his table to, to them he gave them what they like but he said to them I gave you what you like what you asked me but you have to fulfill what I'm going to ask you all oh, Muslims all oh, believers all oh, people Allah created us for a message that we have to carry in this life the message of being good in order to open the door for the hereafter and to be with Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and with Awliya Allah Allahu Akbar remember that because it's coming no one can survive from death today they call survivors those who does very heavy very difficult uh, whatever huh? exercises they do this they say survivors they survive from different strong obstacles in the which face them but from death there is no survivor you cannot run away even if you are in in castles and high rises fences death will come to you not king not president no one can survive death even prophets Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent death on everyone and when you die where you go after a while you disappear in the grave you become what dirt you become dirt you become earth so if you can make yourself dirt or earth before you die then your grave will not eat you anymore because you already turned yourself into earth into dirt when you are living that's why awliyaullah in grave their bodies they found their bodies as 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 if it is now being buried even hundreds of years later because Allah prohibited earth to eat the flesh of prophets and inheritors of prophets because they gave up their lives to him if we give our lives to him then we will be able to save our bodies from being eaten in the grave but unfortunately we don't listen we only momentarily listening for five ten minutes as Maulana is speaking after he finished we forgot everything so, why 
Why do you forget? They, now, for example, if you have an account in a bank, you don't forget how much you have even to the penny. That's correct. Yes, sir. Right. To the penny, you know how much you have. And you keep checking every day if it is increased or decreased. And if you find a mistake, you call the bank immediately. There is a mistake. My account is more. Why then we forget to ask ourselves, are we having what's happening to our, why we are forgetting so quickly the guidance, the advice that our sheikh is giving as soon as he leaves or we leave, we forget. Come back to what we are before. Fighting, nagging, sleeping, lazy, uh, desires, happy, forgetting how much profits they suffered, how much they have been abused and tortured for Allah's sake. What we can do? We have to improve ourselves. At least be like a video camera. <coughs> or be like an audio <coughs> uh, recorder. Audio recorder doesn't miss one word. Why our heart will miss everything? No, our heart doesn't miss. When, when the sheikh is giving an advice, our heart will pick it up and it, it download it. And it, take it takes it inside and memorize it like a, a, an audio recorder or like a video camera. The problem is that we don't have a software to bring it out. Too many viruses in our software, in our hard software, attacking our hard disk. So what you do when you have a virus, Tahir? You buy a virus cleaner to clean. And how it goes? The virus cleaner what the software, when you put it, install it, it will go away. What to do? It reads the whole disk. It will read the whole disk. How many files in the disk? Hundreds of thousands. Hundreds of thousands of files. <laughs> Is that? It reads it all in, might be, how long? Half an hour? Depends on size. Less or more? And see what, where is the virus? Pick it up and say, this is it, clean it. Why we are not trying to find a software to clean our heart from all these viruses? Why for computer you need to clean your heart you don't need to clean? Which better, to clean for dunya or clean for akhirah? So what we miss is that, har, har, is that cleaner. Why, from where we can buy it? Uh, from you. <laughs> from where we have? I don't have. From where we have to, to buy it? From what Prophet Sallallahu has showed us from Maqam al-Ihsan. Maqam al-Ihsan, the Ihsan is, has another meaning. Ihsan means not excellence only. To be a muhsin, to be a generous person, to give without asking. Maqam al-Ihsan is, the, is a, a level 
that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give you without asking even. He is the one that manifest his generosity on you. He will give without asking. We are asking his ihsan, we are asking his generosity. With that, he gave to Prophet وسلم, that level, that maqam al-ihsan, the state of ihsan, is not only moral excellence as we translate, <coughs> Not. So what's Ihsan now? Manifest goodness. Manifest his goodness on us. His generosity on us. Try to go and enter in that in that under that generosity. How you can enter and you can get more? Wala in shakartum la izidannakum. You thank me, I give you more. From my ihsan to you, I, they call in, 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 in our uh, life here now, they say if someone gives a lot of money to poor people, they say, Al, Al, what? Uh, say, Al Muhsan Al Kabir. Al Muhsin Al Kabir. What's Al Muhsin Al Kabir? The great uh, giver. The great giver from his favor is giving us as fixing the school, fixing a hospital, fixing. They write his name. Don't you see that? Yeah. In Middle East countries, Arab countries. Al Muhsin Al Kabir. If you enter that state of ihsan, means Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give, will give, will give. He, he, from his endless ihsan, from his endless ocean of giving. But ask, eat from his tables of, of goodness, of obedience. Sit at his the table. The table is full of products there. Any one of these products of obedience, ma'murat, what he told us to do, if you eat, you begin with one and two and three, you will find his doors are open. Don't sit and eat from the table of shaitan. Because shaitan is enemy to you. And in the day of judgment, what shaitan says, Sahib, on the day of judgment? Oh Allah, I, I, they did it. <laughs> I didn't do it. Why they followed me? When they say, that when human beings are being asked, why, what you did, why you did that? Well, shaitan told us to do no, the shaitan said, no, you did it. You did it. <coughs> he tried to save himself even. So don't sit at his table and eat. Because what you are going to eat, you are going to be whipped behind it. Remember, there is a whip. You eat, from his table you will be whipped. You eat from Allah's table, you will be pet, pet? Uh, with love. Because we are Hayawan al Natik. We are talking speaking animal. A human being is a speaking animal, intelligent animal. And there are not intelligent animals. They are animals with no mind. You whip them. They whip them. You will see how they whip the horse. He moves faster. Shaitan always whipping us in order to move faster toward his door. And Allah is saying, come to me. 
We say, no, we, that is nicer. We go there to shaitan. He has more, more for our life. Allah say, come to me, I have for your life, I have for, for hereafter, for the other life. No, no, it's enough for this life. We don't believe in the other life. Awliya Allah, they believe. That's why Allah gave them this life and hereafter. That's why he said in Holy Quran, Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana wa fil akhirati hasana. Oh Allah give us goodness in dunya, something good and something good in akhirah. When easy things comes to you, thank him. إِذَا جَاءَكُمْ الْيُسْرِ فَاشْكُرُوهُ Thank him for ease, for comfort. Thank him for ease, for comfort. وَإِذَا جَاءَكُمُ الْعُسْرِ فَتُوبُوا مِنْ ذُنُوبِكُمْ And if obstacles comes, ask him forgiveness from your sins. That's why they came, these obstacles. وَنَاكِشُوا أَنفُسَكُمْ Audit yourself. Check yourself. How you are doing. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not an oppressor. Remember death and what is behind death. And remember your Lord, mention him. Mention his name. Call him. He will look at you. Be aware. Till when you are going you till when are you are sleeping till when? You are keeping sleeping and sleeping and sleeping and sleeping. Means you are not remembering. What Prophet ﷺ came up with his message, what Awliyaullah are telling you, you are all all keeping it down and listening only to what Shaitan is saying. Oh, my son. Oh, kid. Ya Ghulam. Don't la to khalit in nas. Don't mix with people, don't mingle up with people who are blind. They will make you blind. Mingle with people whom their eyes are open. They will make your eyes open. Mingle with intelligent people. Not intelligent for dunya. But intelligent how to direct you for after. You will see from them things that you like because Allah likes that. If you see something that is not right, means don't mingle with those people because those people will take you somewhere else. We are in complete heedlessness from remembering our Lord because we are always sleeping. We are not sleeping eight hours. How many hours you are sleeping? Huh? How many hours you are sleeping? Maybe seven or six. Mm -hmm. We are sleeping not seven and six hours, we are sleeping 24 hours. <laughs> <laughs> we are not aware that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is observing us. Sleeping means here, not sleeping, real sleeping, but means covering your eyes, making your eyes blind from what Allah wants from you. And you are awake with what shaitan wants from you. Oh, Ghulam, you are not taking anything with you. You are leaving everything behind and going. Make sure you, ha you have to be always aware. And you have always to be around good people and in mosques 
and to be praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and praising Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Turn your homes, turn your room in your home in a, as a masjid, musalla, where you keep praying. When you are free, you have free time, pray. As Prophet sallallahu said in his hadith, لو نزل من السماء نار لما نجا منها إلا أهل المساجد لو نزل من السماء نار لما نجا منها إلا أهل المساجد If from heavens or from in the universe fire will be coming down on earth to burn the earth, only people of mosques will be safe from it. Means those who turn their homes into mosques, not a mosque in, in, in a physical, but turn your place into a place of worshipness. Means keep your heart busy with Allah's remembrance and praising Allah and praising Prophet Wasallam. Allah said in a holy hadith to Prophet that neither my heavens nor my earth contained me, but the heart of the believer contained me. Turn your heart into a masjid. Allah said in a holy hadith to Prophet وسلم, and Prophet revealed it to us, related to us. He said that the house, the heart of the believer is the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And masajid are house of Allah, means turn your hearts to a house of worshipness. Because if a fire comes, means a disaster comes, it will not burn you. It burn everything else and you'll be safe. If you try to, if you tawanait on fissala, if you try to uh, delay and decrease your prayers and you say oh no, not necessary to pray too much as today they say oh make your your fard and that's it don't pray sunnah if you decrease your prayer because your prayer is the relationship with allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when you pray, you are in a relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When you stop praying, you are breaking that relationship. means there is no more relationship. Don't say, oh Allah, forgive me. Oh Allah, send, I have a problem. You have a problem, you are not praying for me. How I will solve it for you? I will not solve it. Keep it on you. That's why Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, أَقْرَبُ مَا يَكُونُ الْعَبْدُ مِنْ رَبِّهِ إِذَا كَانَ سَاجِدًا most nearest for a servant to be near his Lord is when he is in sajda. That's why as much as you can do sajda, you will be nearer and nearer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Don't go to lower levels of worshipness, keep the highest level. Means keep you yourself busy always in sajda, in remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and remembering <coughs> his Prophet Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam will be saved. If not, we'll be lost. Allah, they tried their best to guide their students and as I said previously there is a hard way to there is a harsh way to guide people but they don't use it now they used to use it before now they let everyone to be as he likes they don't give more heavy burden before they have you they must make you disciplined they give you hard job to be disciplined
Today you cannot say to anyone, do this, he will run away. When scholars come to them to take initiation and say, we want to be with you, and you want, because they see the reality with the guide, with, this, with the saint, with the wali, scholars come to learn from him. He put them to work in a very unaccepted work, like make them to go and cut trees. And they have to bring two, three loads of, of trees of wood every night. If they don't, he will put them, no food for them, 24 hours. Scholars. And he doesn't give them a penny. They have to cut the wood, sell the wood, bring some to the, uh, for, for fire, and give the sheikhs what they make. They don't take anything. Here you have to give them, and they don't do anything. They want only to eat, especially this one there. It's sitting there. And he doesn't care. You say more, he hides himself in a forest. This one also. If, if that happens before, they throw them out. We don't need you, go. So now they are not anymore because they know every time has its ways. Now you have to pet people. Oh, you are good. Mashallah. <laughs> we love you. You are a lion. <laughs> He's happy. He's lion. But a lion is an animal also. Donkey is animal. Lion is animal. Uh -huh. if, you, if, you, if he says the sheikh say you are, uh, you are good, you are a donkey <laughs> you get upset you say if you are good, you are a lion you are happy <laughs> then what is the difference between lion and donkey uh -huh. look his eyes sleeping This one is good. This. He's very efficient work, very hard worker for Tariqa. This one is lazy. Look the big difference. How this one is covering and sitting, like as if he is uh, in a, in Siberia. <laughs> uh, it's too much snow, he's covering himself completely. Open! <laughs> Open up! He wants to cover to keep warm, to go sleep quickly. This one, look. No, nothing. Not even a coat, nothing. See difference? May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us. Harmat al Habib, Harmat al Fatih. The Sheikh can say, Don't come here without wearing your jubba, your turban, your clean clothes, white clothes with white jubba and white turban or green turban. If you come, I don't want, if you come as, without that, I don't want to see you. They used to have sitting with awliyaullah, they bring their white clothes with them clean, they don't touch it. As soon as they arrive to the Dargat, Zawiyah or Hanukkah, they, they dress it and waiting on their knees until the Sheikh comes. Not watching TV downstairs until the Sheikh comes. They are waiting on their knees her heart with their Lord, with Prophet Wasallam, waiting the Sheikh to come and give his advice and the Sheikh goes. And immediately they are praising Allah and his Prophet. Are we doing that? No. 
and we say, oh, we are in Tarika. Eh, which Tarika? No, I don't know which one. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us. We are what we can say. We are weak servants. May Allah accept us ser as servants would be happiness for us. Alhamdulillah. Ala kulli hal. Siwa al-kufri wa al-dalal. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Ya Allah.